Welcome back to the second episode of Total War Warhammer. We are playing as the Dwarves, and today we will be taking over the Pillars of Gorongani. No doubt I'm butchering the name, but that's pretty much stock standard for me. Definitely loving the feel of this game, even though I've never really been too much into magic in games and just in general, but seems like it is very promising. We've even got some wolves up around here, so I guess instead of deer and all of that in what we're used to with Total War, we've got some uh, crazy looking animals. I'm sure there's bats around and vampires as well, I'd be certain. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out the Great Book of Garages. So I need to capture and occupy the following settlement, the um, Pillars of Grungni, which is easy enough. You don't really need to worry about too much. I'm tempted to actually just wait another turn and heal my guys up. Although, to be quite honest, I think we are going to absolutely wreck these guys. So what we're going to do is, let's go scout the terrain. And I'm not quite sure why, but I'm assuming it's because I don't really have a settlement. So, that's why there's no real encampment, no walls or anything around. So, let's go fight this battle. Of course, this is going to be another easy victory, but... At the start, when we're getting used to the game, I'd much rather fight and win these easy battles and lose the hard ones when it really matters. Right, so, of course, they've got reinforcements. Over there, I'd assume, is where their little encampment is. We're coming in from God knows where. Alright. Definitely a very intimidating valley, that's for certain. Especially with all this snow. Alright, I'm pretty sure... Well, due to the fact that the guys, the reinforcements are coming in over from the right-hand side, I'll send in my reinforce... Oh, my, my catapult, sorry, over that way. And these miners, I'll actually send over into the forest actually tempted to send them in over this forest, but I mean, if they get stuck and they get found out, well, not they're a little bit too far away to get help. So let's go start the battle now. Let's go ahead and enemy reinforcements are approaching. Attack with caution, Commander. Get some of these guys out of the way. Get this missile infantry. Line them up. And I'll just send in my melee infantry just behind, and then we'll be able to push up later on. So here are these other reinforcements. You guys better be hidden the whole time. Bet you they won't be as well. They'll get found out. I love how you can actually see the bodies that have uh, been destroyed and have perished along the way. So here we go. Here come our arrows. Or our crossbows, sorry. Actually, no, they're not cross. Well, it looks like a crossbow, so I guess it is a crossbow. Does it say what it is? Who knows? We need to concentrate on actually winning. Oh, it says their lord recently died. Did we already kill their lord? No way. Alright, in our melee infantry, come in. Oh, need to watch out for these goblins. Let's have a look at them. Jeez, they're going straight for our miners. Alright, you guys, just stop your stuff. Halt. Actually, you know what? Go for these sword infantry. How are these hammer guys doing? See, I'm not quite sure what we should send our hammer infantry in for. We've got good leadership skills. Actually, let's go have a look at our main lord. Let's go send him into maybe a bit of battle over here. This only helps him, the potion of toughness. 
And we can use that every 45 seconds. Seems like everyone's winning really well. I'll use the potion of toughness here though. Seems like I can only use it once as well. Oh. Look at him go. Alright, so we're chasing all of them down. We're doing fairly well. Oh, oh. Definitely need to make sure those goblins don't screw us around. Alright, so here's their lord, Nashrak. He looks like he's uh, carrying that uh, shield that you've got in Fallout 4. Which is uh, yet another game that I started a let's play on, but I never ended up finishing. Which is no good. But uh, I guess that's pretty much stock standard. This is also a nice little feature. If you zoom out all the way in with your mouse wheel, you can actually have a uh, tactical overview, which is new. Uh, in the game definitely is quite useful as well it makes it much easier to actually get to the tactical view seems like we killed everyone here seems like that was the last guy there let's see if we can catch up to those guys um how are we doing here all right all i'm gonna need is well, here's our Lord. He's under attack. Hopefully he'll be able to do okay. He should be. He's winning current combat and he's winning decisively, it says. The game wouldn't lie to us now, would it? Right, we're still chasing these guys down. I really want to kill their Nashrak. That would be very nice. Do we lose any of these guys? 39, that's how many they've killed. Orcs, oh, those are their orcs. If only had some cavalry or something just to be able to uh, chase these guys down, that'll make life a lot easier. I guess instead of cav, these guys have uh, those flying helicopters, gyro bombers. To help us out and I think there's gyrocopters as well which aren't as powerful but will also come in handy ah, this is a lost cause so let's get in the battle yet another decisive victory not as if there was any ever any doubt no but okay only 61 losses and they've got 78 remaining in both armies all right bit of a coincidence there so we gain a bit of loot and now we are going to have to occupy the settlement, which gives us a penalty of minus 10 and profits instability as well. Of only minus 3, which is alright. I agree. There we go. Another grudge in the book of grudges has been completed. And a weapon has been gained. The Sword of Might is a grand blade in a rich pommel that imbues its owners with a boon of strength in the heat of battle okay geez try saying that 10 times your quickly. dowie have been put to work fixing up the captured city sir yet there are many grudges still to settle perfidious manlings and bloodthirsty vampires threaten your kind in the north and your mountain will never be safe while a single green skin draws breath to war Alright, so I guess we're into the genocide of the greenskins. Which, I guess I can get behind. So, we need to occupy, loot, raise, or sack three different settlements. Easy peasy. And we get a nice reward as well. 2,000 in our treasury. Gyrocopter scouts report of a greenskin migration heading northwards. Spies say they intend to meet up and swell the mobs of a dread orc warlord who travels towards the Badlands. Whatever they are up to, they must be stopped. Summon the throng. Alright, so we've got to win an ambush at the Thundering Falls. Our reward is Dragon Helm. So we get increase in armor and fire resistance. 
and a hero recruit at Karaz Akarak, a runesmith. Okay, so this is where the ambush is. Let's try to stay away from there for now. And we'll try to capture Mount Squighorn. The At the moment, King though, acts. I'll keep Thorgrim and his army over in the Pillars of Grungni, just to keep public order. And we need to build up over here as well. So over here, um, let's have a look. What could I focus on? Those are walls. I don't really want anything to do with walls. I can't really build anything there. So military support and military recruitment. A trinket maker just gives us money so I guess food will help us out like a barley field and all so yeah that's probably what I'm gonna go for and casualty replenishment rate is increased by 2% so that'll help and I think that's about it and the turn oh actually we've got a skill point which we can use on Thorgrim so Actually, we've got two of them. So we've got different quests which are available that we need to complete for special abilities, which seems like once we get these special abilities, so the quest will automatically begin at rank 23. Jeez. And I guess this is for his rank. So he's only at rank 3 at the moment. We've got to make sure he stays alive, I guess, then. Because if he dies, it's all over Red Rover. So, let's see, campaign movement range plus 10%. Got to look at what the other benefits are as well. That could help. Melee defense plus 3% or armor for him. For Thorgrim, that is. Hmm... Hmm. Tempted to get the armor. Because I assume that'll help us out a lot. Also gets us um, some weapon strength too, which is interesting. Hmm. Alright, so let's go full plate armor. And go for hit points 6 plus. There we go. Thank you very much. And that's going to be it for the turn. So in the meantime... Oh, I've got to watch out for these guys. There's not too many of them, though. Time for a reckoning. Zagav. The grumblings of dwarfs never cease. Some that remain in Karazakarak have the nerve to make trouble in your absence, my king. Take steps to reassert control over your mountain. And we do not want that to happen. Alright. So, I guess this is my mountain. The mountain of the dwarfs. Or at least of uh, Thorgrin Longbeard or whatever his name is. I'm the worst with names. Absolutely the worst. I just, like, whenever I see someone, I call them mate. Because mate or guys, if it's a group of people. Because I'm just the worst with names. I just cannot remember anyone's name to save my life. Alright, in the meantime though, um, I'll have to keep on upgrading all of this stuff as oh, I want to upgrade this. What do I need for this? An extra population point, which population will actually grow pretty quickly, which is great. Um, public order will be increasing next turn as well. Uh, let's just make sure we have a rough idea of which way we want to study next up. Don't really care about diplomatic relations just yet. Um, this could help us out a lot, the militia training. So if I press shift, there we go. That'll help us out. So that means recruitment costs will also go down. So we've got like the next 10 turns or so sorted. Um, they want maintain at least 10 public order in the following provinces. The Silver Road. So this is this province. Which is easily done. Even though public order is lower at the moment. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Maybe I'll be able to recruit some units. So I guess this, the global. Are they actually any better? I don't think so. No, global units seem to be exact. Oh, actually. Quarrelers, leadership 66. Yeah, no, it's exactly the same. Okay. I can pin unit details. Interesting. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is get some... I think Dwarf Warriors. I really don't like those miners. They seem to be very, very poor. So, of course we pay a little bit more for the Dwarf Warriors. So, let's go get... One, two, and some quarrelers, and there we go. I'll leave that as is. So more soldiers obviously means more public order as well. We can keep our citizens in line. So there we go, sure now it's increasing by two. When moving your folk around the mountains, sire. Much time can be saved when traveling below ground. Okay. That's one thing that I do need to figure out how to do. How to move underground uh, in these underways. I need to find an underway and figure out how to do that. So we'll definitely figure that out soon. These guys are setting up in a camp, which is a okay. I think I'll leave Mount Squighorn as is for the time being. I'll keep the public order growing we'll end this turn yet again we'll keep building up I'm really hoping nobody comes in to attack me and destroy me too quickly how's the public order this time plus three great stuff well probably should be reading the world events as well All right, so we researched the gatherer of throngs so let's go open up this so now we're going for militia training which is going to be useful I guess we're going for dwarf and resolve next actually no we're not we haven't selected that um, oh extra income that'll help come in useful It's nothing really that'll help us out too much just at the beginning with public order. Maybe some of these later ones. Income from all buildings, 5%. Income from salt mines and dye makers. And income from breweries and gem cutters is increased. So it seems like... Oh, here we go. Pressure regulating valves. So it increases ranges and gyrocopters and all. Definitely need to focus on military, I guess, a little bit more as well, so. We'll go for this next. Actually, no, I want this. And I... What's the button that you press? I thought it was either shift or control. You yeah, know, it is both, okay. I don't know. We'll just go with militia training for now. We'll figure it all out later. Right, so we've got these dwarf warriors waiting it's out. Actually, I should have checked if we're able to build anything in Karazakrak. Evil power desires a change in your mutual relations. Okay, well, a non-aggression pact, and they pay us nine hundred. Uh, seems like I've got quite a few enemies. Problem is. With the Total War, like, historical games, you actually knew where everyone was because of, like, geography and history. Like, it was based on facts. Whereas here, it's all based on fiction. I've got no idea where the Greenskins are and all of that stuff. It's all very new to me. So, like, the Bloody Spears. Where are the Bloody Spears? They're over here on the right. Okay. And then we've got the Scabby Eyes down here. The Red Fangs. Which are all the way down here. And, and green skins, of course. So they seem to be a little bit lower down.
Okay. Well, I want Mount Squighorn. And the bloody spears have that. So... And who, who are you? Where are you? My friends? You're over here. Are you? Who knows? Um, how can I figure out where you are, my friends? Why don't you tell me? Zuth Bar from the Dwarf Realms. I guess he's the bloody spears, isn't he? No. He's got that as his... I don't know. I'm going to have to reject his... I don't know. Ah, oh, there he is. Bloody hell. Hidden away. Told you I'm blind. I don't think I did, but... Now you guys know. Um, so at least we're not at war with them. And I guess they do hate the bloody spears as well. So that's... In our favor. Okay, I'll take that. Can I offer, give him a counter offer and tell him to pay me more, but I'll take it. That should help us out a lot, actually. Consider varying your tactics when maneuvering in the face of the enemy, my lord. Placing an ambush or setting a defensive camp may bring about victory. Okay, definitely something to keep in mind. Now, here we go. We can build a gem mine, which will increase the amount of money that we're making. And over here, a dwarf outpost will increase growth and grants two construction slots in the settlement. And of course, a better garrison. So I'll build that up. And Send how are we doing vengeance. here? Not doing too bad, actually. So, Barak Var. Seems like we've already got some trade routes going. Sign the treaty and pledge to the High King clan's kin. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Ah, oh, man. What about... Let's go ahead and see. Add offer demand. Payments. Um, demand payments of... Oh, 300. I mean, that's not much. But it is something. I guess they're a little bit stronger than us as well. I'll take it. Okay. I mean, we're getting some cheap and quick money like this. Oh, foolish vain glory. They say you revel in victory. They say you spend more time erecting monuments to battles past than managing the realm. They say you are a fool. We'll see who is the fool. So, war fervor. Your war is thirst for battle. Uh, I guess we need a battle in three turns. Or, on this rare occasion, there is a glut of ready and willing bodies to join the fray. Hmm. Recruitment costs are a lot lower. But then we need to pay for the upkeep costs as well. Something to keep in mind. Um... But this is... Is this only for three... T yeah, I guess this is only for three turns. So I guess perhaps a more humble approach will help us. Ready. And let's go ahead and actually... Get some guys up in here. So... The we'll go for Quarrelers and Dwarf Warriors. But we can only get three at a time. Can't upgrade these buildings just yet, which is annoying. Love to be able to get a mustering hall. I think I need to upgrade this guy first, though. Karaza Karak. Okay. Got a population surplus, which is great. We're not running out of time here either. I don't think that's a timed mission anyway. So, with more soldiers as well, hopefully the public order will increase as well. Oh, Confederation. 
the green skins and crooked moon through shrewd diplomacy or perhaps outright intimidation green skins have convinced crooked moon to join them in faction destroyed okay i don't think i know anything about these guys <laughs> so i'm not too fast have i not studied this i thought i did clearly not what? I swear I did, but I guess I didn't. Silly old me. Okay. There we go. Plus five. In public order. I'm going to the next turn. We'll be very close to attacking Mount Squighorn any second now. The gods are angry. The omens are ill. Something you have done has angered the gods. Yes, they are fickle. They may forgive you in time. Or more immediate appeasement might be necessary. Oh, I definitely don't want angry gods. Your realm grows, but it comes at a cost. Uh, I think we're growing at a good pace at the moment. I'd much rather the public order. So let's pay him a tribute because we're doing quite well in terms of money. Um, build a granary as well. Now, over here, I want the refractory, which will give us a lot of public order. Don't really want the trading depot, to be honest. No. It's not my thing. Because look at that. The feast hall gives us a lot of public order, and that'll help us out just in general. Whereas the trinket maker, all that does is make basic money. So, don't really care much about that. Alright, we're doing very well so far. And five turns until we reach another surplus point. Okay. So, maybe let's get increased income from settlement, sell help. Yeah, that's good. And the Great Book of Grudges, that's not changing anytime soon. So, let's go end the turn. Actually... What I did want to do is check this out. So current total severity is 7. The long beards are silent because there are very few grudges unaccounted for. Much to their annoyance as they like a good moan. Oh. So I guess you need to keep the book of grudges down. That's an interesting gameplay mechanic. Got to say. So now if I attack Mount Squighorn now... Let's see. It doesn't say how long we need to maintain this for, though, the public order. Throw banners. Let's march. So if I attack... Oh, I don't know. So if I attack these guys, what will end up happening is they'll bring public order back down. So what I need to do, though, is make you happy, I guess. Um, weapon strength, 3% plus first green skins. That's pretty good. Or a charge bonus. Let's go with the charge bonus there. And we'll be attacking very, very shortly. Probably to the end of the episode with... So, there we go. We've got a nice little reward. The grudge has been successful and this a has gone back down. overview can be useful in such uncertain times, sir. There we go. So there's our strategic overview. There's the Empire, as they say. Let's get right back into it, though. Don't really need to be looking too much into this. It is time. It is time, indeed, I know. Attack. Let's go ahead and attack. We mark another grudge. So let's go scout the train. And it's I guess it's like another little shite encampment, really. Let's go fight this battle. This is going to be another one-sided one, but... It'd be nice and quick, and of course we're going to win. So I guess the hammerers are good with melee. Alright, I guess that's what I've been using them for, so... It's all good. Uh, let's have a look. What do I want to do? I want to... <laughs> Have a better look at my army, first of all. Send these grudge throwers in. I'm not sure if these rocks are actually going to... They're probably not the best idea to actually have the catapults right in front of them. 
Now, there are only trees that we're able to exploit. Not really. Maybe down below here, but I'll leave them. I'll leave these guys up over here. There's a lot of guys. What I'm going to do is get my quarrelers just up here, and I'm going to hotkey them as always. I'm going to just hotkey these guys and our pickaxe infantry. So there are miners. Okay. I'm happy with that. I should just send the quarrelers in. A little bit like so. Lots of goblin archers, spear infantry. All I'm really worried about is, I guess, the spear infantry, these guys. The Rathag Hornet. They don't seem too pleasant. I set up a nice little ambush over here on the sides. Um, where's Thorgren? Yes. Come on, guys. It's so white you can't see white on the snow. You can't see if the arrows are actually shooting. Well, there we go. Let's send these guys in, all of them. Oh, this is going to be so painful for the enemies, though. Oh, look at them. They're coming around, actually. Yeah, I'll definitely use the miners as a bunch of guys to come around. There we go. They're already starting to retreat. This is very, very one-sided, this. Let's go, Thorgrin. Where is he? Who can he attack? Let's just come over to these orc boys. And his gold throne. Come on, guys, carry him faster. There they go. Move out of the way. <laughs> and we'll use the potion of toughness as well. Alright, so it should be all over. There it is. So let's go end that battle. Definitely nothing to worry about there. Decisive victory yet again. I think I'm going to just go ahead and kill all these guys. Jeez, they only got 29 of us. This is very one-sided. Only thing is, is that you can't really chase them down with our dwarfs. Not yet anyway. I guess the helicopters will go a little bit quicker. Obviously going to be occupying that. And we've gained a sword of battle. And we've secured the province, which is great news. So, we'll have a look at what unlocking or owning a province does for us next episode in the third episode of Total War Warhammer. Having a lot of fun playing this, I'll definitely upload these two videos and read the comments. Hopefully they won't be too negative, but... You never know. Until next time though guys, I'll see you later and hopefully you're enjoying this let's play just as much as I am playing it. So.